I'm not. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Tell me. You, uh, can you tell me your name means? What is your good name? Ravi Prakash. Okay, Ravi Prakash. Okay. So. So what is this? So. Transaction manager. First, we'll start with this thing. General settings. Organization. Define calculation indicator. That is a uh, uh, will be there standard. So first step is here is define company code additional data. Here we are using our. Uh, we don't have any new company code also. So just I'm showing this. Uh, demo so company code currency currency in once you just enter the uh, company code and enter this one you need to give all gray out fields are from fi okay. exchange rate type and other things will come so only the thing setting for variable interest Going forward, there will be a, for borrowing loans and other things, there will be a fixed interest rate or a variable interest rate will be there. So generally, com banks will charge big companies based on the... So here, what we follow in India, PLR, prime lending rate plus certain margin will be there for banks. So uh, they will also, this PLR will be fake, changing. Uh, in a frequent times by the RBI, six months or one year or like that. Even if you go to LIBOR or CYBOR or something, or uh, international for borrowings. If you are borrowing from LIBOR, there will be three months LIBOR or six months LIBOR. In that case, what happens? Oh, <laughs> LIBOR rate will be changing every three months. Plus margin will be there two percent or three percent. So LIBOR rate we need to update every three months. Based on the LIBOR rate plus margin, our in that will be our interest rate. In such cases, how to ma maintain that uh, plan records of uh, variable interest? How to update that variable interest rate as per the changing in the market standard? So in that case, there are two methods. Whether it can be maintained in a table the rate will be maintained in a table and automatically updated or if you want uh, manually update we can update manually also by entering manually so for that purpose this is the variable settings for variable interest update with interest rates maintained automatically and man manually will maintain we can if we choose only automatically we cannot do it manually if we choose manually we cannot do it automatically so both will select even for security prices for also we'll maintain the same thing automatically and we'll give an option to this uh, select the system whether automatically or manually we can do it by the end user this is the first step next step is define portfolio till now we have not touched that one then go to accounting here also organization is there valuation areas what are all comes from fi only thing is define account codes this is so for demo company code demo so accounting code is just similar to chart of accounts in fi demo company code so we'll maintain the accounting code same as company code then assignment of accounting code to valuation areas So here, demo, valuation area, valuation currency, for different valuation currency. Translation happens only for different valuation currency. If I am, my company code currency is INR, and I am investing in USD, in such case only this valuation currency will, the system shows two currencies, USD as well as INR in two different columns. Posting to FI, accounting principle, you need to assign 
currency type is company code currency this is the basic settings i have completed till now after that once this is done we need to go to money market what are the money market product types so each financial instrument is denoted by the product type fixed deposit one product type commercial paper one product type deposit at notice one product type interest rate instruments one product type facilities bilateral facilities as well as syndicate facilities. these are uh, this is nothing but uh, all of such facilities from the bank limits we can say limits is called as a facility in sap so this is the <coughs> first thing so this is the standard these are the standard products types if you want we can uh, do we can configure or uh, we can configure the customer stand other product type so instead of 51a is a standard product for fd sometimes clients insist that i don't want 51a i want uh, only ftd or ftr fd like that they want product type in such case just copy paste and change the product type name that will do it so as of now standard 51a fixed term deposits so here the product category is uh it's a standard one from sap we cannot create any product type we don't have any access or uh, path or anything for product category interest calculation effective interest rate interest rate uh, when we talk about interest calculation method there are plenty of methods so based on the investment where we are investing our fd based on that bank uh, methodology we will uh, select this interest calculation method so effective interest calculation is nothing but uh, irr what would be my I irr on the return on investment this is the first step of fixed term deposit product type creation then second step is transaction types so define number number ranges for each product type we need to maintain for one number range for fixed term deposit another number two number range for commercial paper then uh, deposit at notice one number range then uh, interest rate instruments one number range like that based on our these things we need to maintain the number range based on the product type then transaction type define transaction type transaction types 100 is always 100 is the investment 200 is the borrowing as far as the money market products are concerned <laughs> if you see this 101 someone has created okay fixed deposit 100 investment 200 borrowings so by in there won't be any borrowings in fixed deposit as far as this thing is concerned so here you need to maintain only this thing standard ever these are the standard things transaction category 100 investment 200 borrowing transaction number range 0 1 these all are only standard we need not do anything processing category and all the things so once the transaction is there this is the flow i can say transaction type product type transaction type and then flow type flow type to assignment to transaction what is the flow type flow type defines the nature of the uh, activity we can say so one flow type 1100 is the investment increase principal increase that means my deposits are increasing and uh, what is the interest these the flow types will uh, based on these flow types only the system will uh, calculate through 
the makes the calculations it is very important what is the flow type once okay i'll show you what is the flow type for better understanding Here, principal increase when we invest interest, final repayment, and the maturity. This is the flow types. These flow types will give us the calculation as well as the this thing. These all are things uh, depend on the functional modules. Okay. So, flow types are there. These flow types based on the product type. What are the flow types relevant for that product type? will be assigned so for fixed deposit 100 we can take it as 1100 1110 1120 is the final repayment 1150 is the interest capitalization these all are for charges this is for t withholding tax 1905 is for withholding tax 1906 is also for sake of withholding tax these all are the standard flow types Derived flows, uh, this is for uh, TD withholding configuration of with, withholding tax within the treasury. <laughs> Next, update types. Update types will be assigned to the flow types. Assign uh, these update types help us for the calculation as well as the integration for integration with fi what are the flows generated and posted to fi will be uh, generated through update types update types helps us for the integration of fi so then assign uh, uh, flow types to update types condition types based on the condition type what are the conditions we are maintaining condition based on that only system calculate the flows of interest or uh, flows of uh, maturity and all the things so this is one part of uh, we can say part one this is the configuration next integration with other modules integration how the system calculates and what are the dependencies uh, uh, for the purpose of calculation of uh, uh, and all the things in case of fd interest calculation and all the things system automatically calculate based on our input so how the system calculates what are the major things we need to do in order to go ahead calculate the interest and the posting posting to fi this is first part money market and all things Second is under general settings. General settings, accounting. Under accounting, setting for the position management. This is the position management which defines the integration between FI and calculations. Okay. Next. Uh, as well these derived business transactions will come when we start forex and uh, securities as of now it is not required then link to other accounting components in this this is the may one of the major this thing first assignment define account assignment references the first step so here we have created the standard we have Taken the standard one ten thousand one hundred for FD receivables fixed term deposit. It's a only text field, but the usage of <coughs> reference will get it. Then link define account determination for treasury and risk management. 
So we'll take it demo only. Here we have account symbol. Account symbol defines the, whether it is a position or asset position or purchase, sales clearing, bank clearing, interest revenue. It is identified as the uh, symbol. Just now when you have uh, determination in uh, F5, you have posting keys and other things. The same posting keys also we'll use here. Here, assignment of update types. Here, we are giving the link. Update type for our... This thing is... 1100. For our principal increase or borrowing increase. Investment increase. <laughs> for that, this is the posting specification. Posting specification depend. Uh, decides the here what is the account to be debited what is the account to be credited so when we do investment in FD this is the posting specification posting specifications are standard so debit posting key for position position book value and then Credit 50, go to bank. Okay, then assignment of GL accounts. Here for position with account reference, here it is there. And then GL account is 100. That is for fixed term deposit. In the same way for banking, bank clearing account bank account here we used mask so there will be plenty uh, number of banks so for each bank we need to not maintain if you assign the masking for bank accounts this is till now what we have done okay, sir. then we have posted one uh, this is uh spr we have just we have created one Two, three deposits that's all is that our company code is mohan's mohn we are using for the class purpose so here from here also i'm going accounting financial supply chain management treasury and risk management see business here i need to create ones you want to uh, post any transaction financial transaction this is the business bp is the maintained business partner business partner is the master data so if i am so i have created one uh, business partner <coughs> we have created one business partner state bank of india where we want to deposit our amount so business partner always it should be the role of the business partner now all customers vendors are coming we are creating under bp in hana so the role is important so for treasury counterparty is the role we have three count three roles for relating to treasury one is counterparty, then the issuer, and depository bank. That comes in uh, foreign exchange. When we start in securities only, it will come. As far as foreign exchange and uh, money market instruments are concerned, only counterparty. We need to give the details here. SBI and all the things. <coughs> Address, this is the mandatory field, and language, this is the only thing. After the address, this is the validity of the business partner. Then the company code, this is the second requirement. Company code you need to give. Here, SIR, there are some tabs. Whether, what are, 
this is authorization. This partner can be used only for this money marketing transactions. Like that we can, even under money market also, we can restrict this partner is only for making fixed deposits. Like that. So there are some other tabs which are payment details and correspondence. Correspondence I will take you later, not right now. Once you are familiar with all the product types, at the last, I will take the correspondence. Correspondence is nothing but confirmation letter. System has to automatically generate in some cases. So it's a requirement of uh, certain clients. Wherever the client requests this, then we'll create the correspondence. <coughs> now, this is also changed in S4 runner uh, when you compared with ECC. This is the master data where we need to create this one. That will create another partner on Monday uh, so that you can use it. Next, uh, transaction manager. All the things will be there. Under transaction manager, money market. We have SAP Treasury has the internal control. As trading is the front office, back, back office is the mid office, then accounting. For any transaction, we need to make uh, in a treasury. There is a flow. First, front office will create. Then back office will uh, verify and uh, settles. Then once these two steps are done only, <coughs> it will be posted to FI. This is the thing. So actually I joined this only for that uh, you can uh, say like a demo session. Demo for, session. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, it's not uh, <clears throat> continue with again like 15 minutes. So, mm. okay. So we can, I can stop here. So if you want to complete with that Srinivas, so you can continue. So okay. I will join then next tomorrow onwards or the Monday onwards. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow, if you want, okay, if you are okay, then you can continue in tomorrow. Srinivas also uh, connects tomorrow. Okay. Just he will be uh, rebrushing for him. Yes. Revision for him. So that, uh, okay, what if you come, then I'll uh, create one company code and keep it to you for in FI. Then we can continue from the treasury part. Okay. So then it will be easy for you. I'll ask uh, the management to send you the previous records for also. The same thing will be just FI only I have then, which is not required for you. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow we'll start. Yeah. Sir. No, Thank I'll, you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you have you any know. doubts? So I will Anything. connect to it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If you have any doubts, just ask you. Ask me now. If you no, have... I will connect after some time. Okay. If okay. Have okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, Srinivas. Bye. Okay, sir. Bye. Okay. Bye.